trying to keep it clean, brother. You never know who could be watching, man. Mickey Shack's coming for you motherfuckers, dude. And what you gonna do? What you gonna do, man? It's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got to do. It's Cheers to you, everybody. Good evening. This is definitely good evening for me. I'm JB, and welcome to another edition of Disco After Dark, the late night comic book Funko Pop, whatever the hell you want to call it, chat, where you know you never know if we're going to go off the rails. Today, I do have some sort of agenda, and I am not alone, but first, let me get hmm, a beer we got going on here. Let's see who's hanging out with us this fine evening. As I mentioned, I was not alone, so let's welcome a few of our guests. We're going to start with this cat right here who still needs to update his intro. I do. Oh, uh, you I do. I need, need two the... intros now. I need an intro you for do. each channel. You do. <laughs> you do. So, Perry, welcome to the stream. I appreciate you taking the time tonight, man. Uh, you had a hell of a week, right? Man, you've a been busy, bit. man. How many videos did you drop in this week? I dropped a video on each channel every day. So every day, each channel got oh, new content. Yeah, 10, 10 videos. 10 videos. That's <laughs> amazing, bro. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, what's your sub count on? Because I just want to make sure I'm not taking Oh, I dropped two on Wednesday on the main channel. So that's a, an extra one. Uh, but no, it's uh, 6975. So I'm 25 away from 7,000. All right. So we save those shots till next Friday. What do you because mean? Because like you said, I was only taking shots if Perry got to 7,000 on his channel which he has not quite made it there yet how many so, people are in the chat everybody make a second account real quick <laughs> make a second account and sum up so we can uh, have jb throw a few back oh shit well i mean well How's it going? We got uh, Ben Compton. How you doing, Ben? Ben's always there, dude. Ben's a great supporter. John, how you doing? Metaphorical, how you doing? I know he was doing uh, an auction before. Woo! Okay, Titus, how's it going over there down in down in Japan? It's probably, what, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon? I'm trying to remember. Have no fear. Batman is here. Uh, who else we got? We got FaceTime. Uh, that's what you do on the iPhone. Your, your FaceTime. I need to charge my phone. My phone's always dying on me. Where's my JB invite? I don't know, man. You gotta check the. You gotta check the grams. Uh, let's see. Uh, Komiku, uh, just watched the Gem Mint live, and now this. Uh, did you watch my Star Wars video? <laughs> I actually dropped a Star Wars video today uh, for Episode Five. If anyone hasn't seen it, uh, it was pretty good. I know because I laughed multiple times at my own stupid jokes. <laughs> How's it going? That's bearded? crazy. That shit is crazy. That's twice today. Complete OBS crash. Hey. Holy fuck, man. I, I, you know, it doesn't bother me. I, I could run a chat all day. <laughs> I appreciate you, Barry, man. Fuck, could save the show. You know what? We're not alone, though, man. We got even more guests tonight. You know, I'd like to welcome to the show. Out here we got dustin from two brothers you guys have got to be what's where are you at now where am i at yeah you are your sub count you're at a thousand right did we break it i have no idea you got to be close perry what are they at man i know you're looking you can look that up real quick i i, I mean I, 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 
I could do no I mean, idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could, I guess. You know what? I got it. while you while we're looking that stuff up, Dustin, oh, I want to thank you for joining me. Huh? Nine thirty nine. Nine thirty nine. That's another one. Super close, man. Right on. We get him over the top today. And you guys just dropped the giveaway <laughs> video, right? Uh, yeah, Nick Nick dropped the giveaway video today, so uh, we're 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 doing a giveaway now. <laughs> You're doing a giveaway now. That's right. right. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, popping on the channel on this Friday night. I know you were on you were on something else earlier, weren't you? You were on um yeah Power been... Hour, the Power yep. Hour brother. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was the first time hanging out with those guys, so I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it. I've been. I've been everywhere this week. I uh, let's see, we, we dropped a uh, edited video Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have the What If Show. Thursday, I'm with Steve. Today, we dropped two videos, and I was on the Power Hour, and I'm hanging out here too. So, man, look at you making the round. You know what, gentlemen? We have someone else backstage. I'd like to introduce to the show. I looked for every bumper I could. This is the only one I had recorded, so we're going to have to roll in this one. Here we go. Welcome to the show, John. Lego videos at John. My favorite, man. Come on. Welcome to the show, John. That's How are you? Oh, no. You're hilarious. That was some of the best. <laughs> you did the Lego one. Come on. That was awesome. And the first time you did the Invisible Man, that was great. You know, the comic book in the air. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks for joining me tonight. We got a special show. This is, you know, so we're mixing up, mixing up the panel here. Um, Perry I, sent me the link. Did <laughs> Perry, totally fine. I what? He the link. <laughs> he peer pressured me into it. He peer pressured. What do you mean? No, he said totally he wouldn't fine. do a live stream with me anymore if I didn't send him the link. I was like, fine, fine. <laughs> oh man, I know. I know Perry did it while I was on broke. While I was all broke down and shit. But I want to go back through the chat and see who's hanging out with us today. I don't. Hey, uh, if Biggie Shaq's still hanging out, I did send you the link, my friend. If you wanted to pop in tonight, oh yeah, uh, Shackamania. We'd love to get a little Biggie Shaq in here. Kate Titus is here. He, I am going to open a package here in my DHL package <laughs> tonight. My DHL package from Ooh. Japan from K Titus. Uh, so I can't wait to get to that. And then I've also got a great huge box from Magoo, who's probably sleeping right now, but. I did send him the link if uh, Magoo's still awake. If anybody wants to hit him up, tell him that we are we're gonna open up his box, which has been sitting on the floor here. Man, he is so he's not happy with me. Uh, this was del uh, received on uh, May fourth. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. So, all right, who else we got in the chat? We had Biggie Shackle mentioned. Uh, Bub's Comics says I left an umbrella here last week. Has anybody seen it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Kamaku is here. Nice. Serbia is in the chat. Ben Compton is hanging out. Metaphorical. Man, how did you you were busy this morning. At one point, I had to take a screenshot of my phone. I, I showed it to my wife. She goes, what are you doing? I said, there are seven concurrent comic book auctions right now. She's like, really? That many? Oh, my God. Seven, crazy. There were seven concurrent comic book auctions with a total viewership of over 500. There was 300 in the three men in a basement. 300 in theirs. Oh, my goodness. Man, That's people crazy. buying books. Comic books yeah. the way to go. Batman Popster is hanging out with us. I appreciate you. FaceTime. That's a new one. And I love the avatar. Good stuff there. Mm -hmm. hey, welcome to the stream. Jeff Schultz. Bearded comic bro. Uh, yeah, that was fast. Yeah, I crashed out early. Just like that. This OBS thing just crashed out. You know what I'm doing? I've just been leaving it on all day. I think I think it goes into a sleep mode or something. Um, mm. The worst man in comics is here. <laughs> What's up, man? What up, Rob Worst? Rob Worst, how are you, my friend? And Old Wolf 
You guys drinking yet? Well, I've taken one sip of my beer, and I promised there would be no shots unless Perry got to 7,000 subscribers. <laughs> He's got his water ready. There you go. Um, just the Reek and Raw. The Reek and is here, and as well as Fish Tropic, who has the unique distinction of being Seawater 19's very first subscriber. I love to say that every time I see Fish Tropic in the chat. All right, Lisa Noble, how are you? I appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. So, man, heck of a week. I, I want to ask you guys, man, in the in just this Monday through Friday, how many different milestones were achieved, not only channel-wise? I mean, Slab Dragon got his 2,000 slab. That was... Right? Wow. Yeah, ch channels have had some milestones happen this week. We've had a lot of interesting news in the industry. Um, we did not get an opportunity to talk about uh, you know what DC is doing to the distribution game and what your opinions on that are. Uh, I'm actually very interested because you know, we got some smart people on the panel here, except for Perry. Course, and I'm, me. I'm quite the intellectual. <laughs> you are the intellectual. <laughs> I need a smoke and a pancake. I say I'm, I'm very proud of, the of Perry's ability to enjoy movies. I take personal credit for starting him on this journey. That's nice. <laughs> You were pushing him for a year. <laughs> we could, I couldn't believe he hadn't seen any of these, though. I think John should get a fraction of those uh, of those checks. Whoa. I just get, I get to still, I just get to still hang out with him now that he's popular. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How's that second channel coming, Perry? It's almost at five hundred, and I started on Monday. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, so I did I did a show right now. <laughs> I did a show tonight on the wire. With uh, Stay Puff and Fire Guy Ryan, it was a blast. But uh, it was a lot of fun having Perry watch the first episode on his other channel, and then go into it thinking like from a first time person never seeing the show and watching That's that really first good episode, oh, the all wire. the way through all the way through to our panel, which we have all seen it four times, start wow. to finish the entire show. Wow, it's a nice little progression. Yeah, that is. I haven't cool. seen it before. I, I don't think I've ever seen the whole thing. There you go. But it was, there you go. Back in the you day. guys, you guys have something that you can you can First follow Perry on this journey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, what are some of the best things we've seen this month? Actually, if we want to even open open up the window, I'll. I just need to be honest with you, man. That that thing, Bruce and Stephanie doing that the trivia thing was one of the coolest things I have seen in a long. They put a ton of time into that. Bearded yeah, Comic yeah. Bro, congrats to you Bearded for winning. Bearded Comic Bro with the upset. My man, oh, Greg. That's, that's why you played the game. Wow, that was <laughs> huge. I mean, he had his beard on the line. This guy is making his beard and Comic Bro. He's ready to shave the beard. <laughs> he, he's coming on my channel tomorrow night to talk movies. And yeah, he is. he earned that yeah. win. He yeah, dominated. That was awesome. And hey, Comigories. I love the new twist of the Comigories where everybody in the chat is sending in their choice of what they would have, right? That just adds a whole new element to that show, which is just awesome because like, oh, look at what everyone would have pulled. That was the, the participation, best. right? Huge Biggie Shaq in the chat. Biggie sure. Shaq is so fast. He's always in the running on the on the on the at home yeah. edition version. He is like so quick, man. Shout out to Biggie. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Hmm. I will say, as far as like things that I've seen the last month that have really had an impact on me, comic books NYC. Kavi's been doing this like oh. art. The oh. original art hour he's, he's been really doing, bad. and he's been inviting a lot of community members. I didn't realize how many people collected original art. I agree with you. And how amazing. I mean, obviously, this guy, this yeah. guy, if you haven't seen his journal, his little oh, like man. collection. Yeah. I got to see a little bit of it in Baltimore, but like, holy crap. The, the this community's yeah. uh, original art collection, I'm feeling like way inadequate. Way I'm like, very before we started watching movies. Like, and that's how I'm feeling on the original art side. Bearded Comic Bros dropped a comment that says, Perry is like the ugly girl in school who John friended early on, but then Perry got the she's all that treatment and now attractive and still is friends with John since he was there from the start. 
John I does that with everyone. That's why John goes on every stream. Just I, in case somebody blows up. <laughs> I, I banged him when I banged him before anybody knew it. Hey, anybody knew. <laughs> yeah, that really and that's such a John really thing he said there too. Like I can see John writing that in the chat talking about Perry too. That was perfect. <laughs> so I agree with you that that Kavi show was amazing. You know, and you know the people that he's had on it. I mean, he had TJ on there, which was, and you're like, okay, how's it going to get any better than this? But then he got JD the other night blew my freaking mind with the art that he has. So, man, that's another great show. Anyone else? Oh, wait a minute. 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 Did you see who I saw? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I wow. I still have it in here because I was crazy drunk the other night. I guess I looked when, up. When he shows up, up it's funny. I want to the stream. Up. Man, I love that. Oh, yes. Joe Ryan is here. How you doing, Mr. Thank Ryan? Thank you for showing up tonight. Nice catching you. Oh, man. Good stuff. Give me chills right there. Don oh. Dizzle is in the house as well. Thank you very much for hanging out with us tonight. Ooh, man. Yeah, we've had a good month. I think the I think the community's been ha had a pretty good month. Yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been a good month. And yeah. Shout out to this guy, obviously. Perry's been over fire. fire. And it's been really? fun to watch the movies with Perry. I feel mm -hmm. like so when I, J, JB, you're getting to that age where you're starting to maybe watch some movies that you loved as a kid with your kids. Yes, I am. I feel yeah. like that Star way Wars with Perry when he's Star watching Wars movies. It. I feel yeah. like I'm a teenager and I'm watching. So like he watches Blade Runner. I'm like, fuck yeah, my kid's watching Blade Runner now. Right he's, now. Watching, <laughs> he's watching Predator. He's watching Aliens. Stick I'm around. like, nice. yeah, man. And I like right now when they tell the girls we're going to do Star Wars and they go, hold on, hold on, and they got to go get their lightsabers. Right? Go get them. Go get them. Right? Awesome. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it, man. I still don't know how the lightsabers work. but When he watched Memento, I, I, like, I lost my crap. I was like, yes, Memento. <laughs> <laughs> the list is long of stuff that Perry's watching, and people are loving it. So, hey, yeah. you found the niche. I'm digging it. That's good stuff. Uh, or anything else happened this month? Oh, I want to talk about that distribution thing real quick. I'm just going to give, I want to just, I want to thumbs up, thumbs down, or even from the panel on three about this move, right? On three. So one, two, three. I think it's a thumbs up. Uh, what? I don't even know what I'm asking about. What's going on? Uh, uh, what what, what happened with, with DC leaving Diamond? What, what's that effect? Okay. Now, I'm the only one with a thumbs up, so I'm going to say what my opinion is on this. So you guys can throw this out there. But competition is good. Competition is good. And competition is good. There is nothing better to out, to, uh, to throw up all the flaws that Diamond has is to get someone else to do it better. Now, if the other person doesn't do it better, guess what? Win-win for Diamond. Because they're going to be pointing at them going, look at these fucking morons. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. But if they do do it better, then Diamond either has to step up their fucking game Right, I, competition is better. Ultimately, when it all flushes out in six months, they'll look back on it, and yeah, each comic distributor has to. The comic store has a second order form. Okay, so what? You know, I think it's all going to be. But uh, let's hear why you guys think it's bad because you have like with comic book stores. What What is your opinion, and what what bases that opinion? So Justin, you go first. What do you got? So uh, you know, me and Nick. I, we we both are the same way. We're we're really tight with our comic shop owners, and we actually had one of them on our live stream the night we talked about this. And uh, there was a lot of people that disagreed. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have a bad taste in their mouth with comic shops, but you know there, there's a lot of shops out there that that are ran by good people, and and they do they do it the right way. And when you are taking and giving distribution to two other comic book shops and giving them a leg up on everybody out there, um, that's unfair competition. And then on top of that, these comic shops have to give all of their information to these comic shops that they're competing against. It, it, it would be like it would be like if if Perry had access to all of our analytics and he could look and see what every one of us are doing and see, okay, uh, John's dropping these videos. Those are getting hot. So what I need to do is drop those kind of videos before John can. That way people are watching my stuff 
And it's kind of the same way. If, if, if my shop and your shop is, is being looked at by these other two shops that are doing the distribution and they're saying, oh, okay, so in this parts of the country, you know, these books are selling hot right here. Well, we can try to cut them out at some point and try to distribute straight to this side of the country with these books and advertise and push that and cut the cost. They're going to get access to, um, you know, everything first, because a lot of times when these shops are putting in their orders, they don't even get to see the covers for every book. They're they're guessing blind. Guess who doesn't have that problem? The two distributors for D.C., so they're getting the they're getting first looks on everything. They're getting a leg up already. Plus, they're already two of the biggest comic shops on the planet anyway. And not only that, but then overseas, Diamond actually has distribution set up overseas already. DC is going to probably end up costing people overseas a lot more money until they can get that set up. Uh, so that's another problem. But the biggest problem, I think, is the fact that you're, you're giving two of the biggest comic shops out there a leg up on all the other shops. And, it, and it's really making that unfair. And it's giving them the opportunity to at some point be able to undercut and cut out a lot of these local comic shops that, uh, you know, may not be able to continue to compete with what they're doing. So that that's the thing. Wow, that sucks. Sorry, I appreciate you taking the time to give us a really good Jay, he's like, yo, can you I was just that? totally out the whole time as this thing is dying. Oh. <laughs> great answer, by the way. I want to add Kevin to, who's also got a great insight on this. Kevin from 1-2 Comic Talk. He is in tight with some of the LCSs. I'd love to get your opinion on the subject, too. But, John, I know that you, you were kind of on the, you know, tell me what you think there. Sorry, I, I love the way Dustin basically summarized a lot of what I feel is true. Um, my LCS has continued to collect and get DC books, but they're feeling a major crunch and the the cost increase. It's not it's not a competitive thing that's happening right now between Diamond and the DC distributors. They're definitely feeling like it's a it's an it's having a negative impact on their ability to carry those DC books and on the cost that they're getting back from their customers. It seems like in general, I mean, it's, it's hard to say from the outside, but from what I'm hearing from my LCS and others is that DC is putting the, the bite, the money cost take on this onto the LCS. And it's not going on this new company that's trying to create a name for itself. It's not going on DC it's falling on the LCS, which kind of sucks. If they were trying to create a competitive spirit, you think they would take the bite on themselves and say, you know what, we're gonna undercut Diamond. We're gonna, we're gonna take that little extra money and put it on ourselves and make the LCSs feel like they're getting a deal. But it doesn't play that way. It plays like the LCS has to pay a little extra or at, in on the other side you could say they lose a little bit of money for each book sold so that's where the hit is happening and that kind of sucks um so i was a little bit bummed to hear that the, the lcs was the one taking the hit but of course the little guy the little guy usually takes the hit and that kind of sucks so well well said dustin yeah, appreciate it man yeah i agree I don't you know, ever and, and about a, It must have been about a month ago, Kai and I, we did a report on this. We made comment that, yeah, we had verification that what was transpiring was transpiring. It wasn't about another 10 days or so that I heard the first person in the community actually start talking about it. And, and it gave me that amount of time to actually digest what Kai and I even said. You know, and I was talking to some of the other people and it fucked me up. It really did because as much as we gripe, <laughs> we're not really in a better situation. Now I'm going to paraphrase the best I can what Mr. Frank Gogol had posted over three weeks ago. He said, imagine this, imagine your target or a mom and pop shop that's trying to even compete with Target. And now you have to buy your stuff through Walmart. Yep. That's the situation. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I forget who said it, but some somebody was saying on a channel that I was watching, I was listening, I was actually listening to it while I was painting. And they put it like the, the kind of the same way where say you're you're a mom and pop hamburger shop. You sell burgers, that's your main thing. And all of a sudden, McDonald's has the ability to be the distributor for ground beef at this point. Now that's a that's the biggest competitor on the planet you're gonna have. And that's who you gotta buy your hamburgers from now is McDonald's. Oof. Right. And I was like, Yeah, now I want a cheeseburger. So and now and I've I've uh, personally witnessed some extremes. I've been to one shop where the person said, I am no longer ever gonna carry a DC product again. And he was liquidating everything. And when I mean liquidating, I mean he was selling things ten dollar, twenty dollar books for as cheap as a buck. What's happening that I don't know? It, it, somebody said uh, Perry, stop stroking it. Perry's been doing this uh, like for an hour, just like rubbing his face. That's what, that's what, that's what DC is doing to the comic fam right now. He's they're stroking, oh, stroking a big one with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's beef stroking off, baby. <laughs> <laughs> No, he wants a burger. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree, Kevin. That it, it, I feel like it's not. I want. I want competition as much as anybody. I want a competitor for Diamond who's going to pack books better and have less impact on damaged books. And I mean, you look at. I've got. I was showing on Kevin's channel earlier some of the books I'm trying to sell, and they're all books I bought off the rack almost completely. But they've all had scuffing and all these kind of issues that mean that that even off the rack they're not nine eight, they're nine four, they're nine two. But isn't that good? That's horrible. What do you mean? Why would you want a book and off every the rack single person in America that walked into a comic book shop picked up a book and it's instantly nine point eight? Guess what happens to the value of nine point eight of those books? Everybody has them. Well, actually, no, well, but actually, that, hold on, no, 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 hold on. Listen, look, 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 look what happened store. to Kanto. Canto was a great story, and so many of them were damaged that everybody was going above and beyond trying to find a nine point eight, and that blew up the price of that book. That, that made Perry, people, you're talking about that secondary people, market. We're not talking about secondary right. market. Right. I want to go into my shop on a first what, level market and be able to know that the book I'm buying isn't crap because the shipper sucks. Well, the majority but, of the books that we, they get again, from I Diamond, think we they, need they to regress want to bring them back and, what we need to do is not talk about, in a sense, comic right now. And what I mean by that is if you were to walk in and buy almost anything, a can of soup, a Snicker bar, I don't care what it is, but are you going to buy it half eaten? Are you going to buy it where it's slightly opened? Are you going to buy it to where it's dented? And What I'm saying is, is, in general, what you're looking for is a product in which that is given to you in the way in that which you would want to receive it. I'm not saying that, yes, on the secondary market, we're talking a grading. The idea really is, is when you're, when you're doing any form of service or any uh, of any type, you're actually supposed to meet the requirements of the consumer, right? You, the consumer, wouldn't want to buy anything that's subpar is really what we're talking about. Well, so and the you service can't use that was and subpar, but we didn't want to pay for it in the way that the customer has to, let alone... The person who's really putting back into the the, the the neighborhoods, the LCSs, it's the big boys that are fucking everybody. Yeah. And you can't use that scenario with the soup cans with Perry because, you know, he probably big daddy soup cans, goes in the supermarket, <laughs> slinging them on the floor. Ten cents off. Bow. <laughs> I want to see my soup. <laughs> Ten cents off. <laughs> well, real quick, I want to shout out the chat. We got a downright nerdy podcast. Holy moly. Did you see him take down that 10 by 10? Oh, my God. You said you wanted a burger after that? I haven't wanted a burger since. Mm -mm. I went out. I ate a three. I ate, I ate a triple burger. You even commented on it. I ate a triple burger that same weekend because I was like, damn, that looks good. Oh, my goodness. Sam's Tangled Web. The architect himself is hanging out with us tonight. Barbarian Kung Fu, how are you? Craig, are you here tonight? Sometimes she's not here. You got to you, you gotta check. Sometimes, sometimes he is not here. Yes, I'm having all kinds of problems with the system tonight, Titus. Hey, there's TK. You know, TK, man, you killed me last week, bro. You 
Where's TK? What is he Friday. doing? Nice. I have no idea doing? what TK's up to, but I want to play his bumpers so I can get the rhythms going. Let's get the rhythms going. <laughs> How, how'd he do that last week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. If I have one. Of, yeah, all right. Welcome to the show. I got one more person popping. Is he even ready? I don't even know if he's ready. Let's see if he's ready. Uh -oh. I got to make sure his device is connected. This I love bearded comic oh, bros. Hey, John's, the guy, John's the guy who watched Super Size Me and went and bought McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here I, we I saw... The, One the more youngest. The spot open. Let's get another person on the stream. One second. on the street that's right bubs comics is out here hanging out thank you for joining me tonight how you doing my friend i am so pleased to be the last person to receive an invite to this i can't tell you what an honor and a pleasure it is to to 45 minutes into the stream be invited to something that i was tailgating prior to its start so I, i'll tell you the honor is just so i'm awesome. overwhelmed <laughs> hey, hey bub i i legitimately had to ask perry to send me the link <laughs> so i backed the fifth. whole system uh, uh, you know I, i've heard that the best way to get on this show is to backdoor perry but i didn't uh, think it was true <laughs> hey you never know until you find out <laughs> jb just I let anybody, anybody in there. there apparently i just let anybody in here now right? i would have set up another camera pointing at a white short box and jumped on here with it to keep him from getting in <laughs> that, that'd be that'd be your whole collection dustin i feel sorry for you you don't want to show it all all off at once do you <laughs> oh my goodness blue you're my boy you're my boy blue <laughs> I got nothing but love for you, baby. That's the best one you have. Find the guy that did nothing but love for you. It's so many That's the greatest one. Like I, love it. <laughs> oh my God. I can't find the Scarpad Night one either. Oh no, here's the Scarpad Night one. That's why he likes Star Trek. He gets high as fuck and just watches Star Trek and blows his fucking mind away. That's why I need to watch Star Trek. Yeah. Hey, hold on. I think I asked about your dreams and fucking aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> They're not kind. Scarpad's yeah. got a channel? Hold up. Somebody, Z, drop the link. Z, Scarpad's drop the link. I, don't, I, don't... <laughs> I completely forgot that. I remember watching that live. That's awesome. Yeah, now we go in. <laughs> Hey, oh, quick question, JB. When do we evolve into the super chat equals JB drink a shot? No, Ten dollars super chat. I can't do that. I can't do that, I can't do that tonight. That's, we that's fair. <laughs> boxes we have to open. I got somebody from Japan. Yeah. Like, Is he ever gonna open that fucking box? Come on, man. It's on the thumbnail. Can yeah. I just? <laughs> I I had a list of reasons why my channel wasn't monetized, but you came up with one more for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's funny you know i was i was going through the uh um because now they ask to answer the questions you know when you go to monetize there's like six questions that you have to just kind of and you just go to the bottom and say no, none of them. whoa we got one tk threw down the super chat i didn't even see it when did it come in someone take a shot <laughs> Oh, or a pull, or a pull. <coughs> or a pull. There it is. Who's going? There it is. Perry. Yeah. Perry. 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 Perry drinks a shot like a bitch. <laughs> John, there's no secret that I'm a little bitch. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! It's, and you know what? Only because it is the jam, son. I go play it one more time. Where's my TK? <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Oh. Yeah. 
I do yeah, ladies for old pesos, <laughs> and I eat the my Cheetos and Doritos <laughs> and Fritos <laughs> and Fritos. You gotta get Fritos in there. Okay, guys. I, so I, got <laughs> I got a box here for DHL because I guess this is the only way to send anything internationally now. And I've actually heard that uh, you know Jem got a piece in the other day that he had a hard time getting in, and it also came in through DHL. So DHL is the way to go. Are so you over. saying that uh, that that uh, Jem meant had a piece and it was hard to get it in, but he got it in? <laughs> yes. Unbelievable, man! That's what I heard. And oh, he did it internationally. Got that piece in <laughs> a little in and out, in and out. There's a comment right. from uh, the third oh, brother, brother of two All brothers right. comics. Let's, let's you got you three got brothers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's three of us. Andy is the youngest brother. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. It's paid for taking shots. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Barbarian. Drinking show. Oh, man. Yeah, right? Oh, man. I did. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I was down all Saturday. All Saturday. No. See, drop the link. <laughs> I was like texting JB. I'm like, brother, are you alive? Are you right? How's your oh, wife? How are you? <laughs> Who's it's watching bad. the kids, brother? Who's watching the kids? It was bad. <laughs> I had my mother in law here, which was <laughs> no point. Because oh, it, like, no. it was a train wreck. Both of us, my wife and I, were the train wreck that night. My mother in law is just like <laughs> in judgment. In well, judgment. Is this, what guys, like, is this what you who like, guys do around here? I've heard about four oh, rum shots deep than you this guy. guy. <laughs> I'm gonna I, uh, rum and I'm on the beer and I'm I'm fading away here. Yeah, I just got we're just gonna do beer tonight. Take a bump. Perry pulled his signature, stop the camera, and disappear for the rest of the I had I had oh, yeah. croutons, I had no and ran. This, this is, this is, this is my, monetizes kids channel. <laughs> right. This is my impression of Perry. It goes something like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that I like eating soup. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, I wasn't doing anything. I'm just kidding. Me and Nick did it. Me and Nick did it. The last time I was at his house, and Bubs was there, Perry was there, and a couple other guys. Perry disappeared. We didn't know what happened to him. Yeah. We're calling Perry. We're messaging. Dude, are you dead? We, Because he was already looked like he was in rough shape. Wow. Yeah, he starts off that way. Yeah. Out of the way. He just tells us the next day, oh, I passed out in my computer chair. <laughs> You know, guys, since I don't, now, I, really, here, since I, I don't I have really thought here, what had happened uh, <laughs> on the way back. I figured that I what like, Harry did is just probably trip, fell, hit yeah. the floor and said, fuck it. I'm going to sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> he's always like, he's always like one eight ball away from a Friday. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to get the camera and the lighting and the, I'm all white. I'm not white. White out. Anyway, I got a box from Japan. Okay. It, I know, I, I think there's other ones like in route, but right now I got this one and I'd like to share it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from Samurai Ken K Titus. You guys may have seen him popping in the chats. Thank you. He's in Japan. He sent me a box and let's uh, let's take a look in there. You know, I don't know what's going to be in here, guys. Let's see what's going to be in here. Uh, okay. Hey, JB. Oh, my K Titus made his debut yesterday. Hey, Z collects shots or ch oh my goodness, come on, ten dollars. You gotta do at least one. Oh, oh. At least one. I'll do this one, but then I'm gonna fade pretty early, so I'll, I'll go get a shooter and I'll do this one. There we go. We've got a volunteer. All right, John has to do two. We've got a volunteer Z. I'm like, and then my stomach's already going. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh. History bubble gun. Look at the first thing that's in here. I don't know if, if I can show this. Ooh. Figure and t shirt. Yeah, you can. For the figure in the t shirt are for JB, the bandana, the fan, and the wall piece are for my wife. Holy shit. Right Something here for my wife. There's a t shirt in here, though. I want to check that out first. Let's see if we can get that out. Hey, Titus is like everywhere right. now. and i've said it probably three times in the last two days but i mean Which is the real we can't drop a video without him leaving a comment and i see him in everybody's live streams he, yeah, he, he, he's he awesome super supportive all right yeah. so check out this t-shirt you know how i'm feeling about t-shirts right now jb yeah. don't even like t-shirts all right john are you ready are you ready to go because we're 
Or, I already done that, bitch. You weren't I watching. Did. I already done it. Oh, you got to do it. Come on. No one's seen it. No one's seen it. Nobody. There was any camera, it. motherfucker. What are you talking no about? Camera, guys. Everybody was looking at the other John. <laughs> That's not my problem. Bro. You were watching. Oh, That's that not like your problem. It's John, a tale of two Johns. <laughs> so check out this Ooh. t-shirt, he says that oh, that's uh, fucking badass. It is pretty badass. And actually, he's a, I think if you if you if you spell it J A B I, pronounced J B, that's who this guy is. Yo, that's tight. Fucking a. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that's cool. Is there a back? Yeah, t-shirt. You know how I'm a, I'm a t-shirt whore. Thank you very much. Now, figure and t-shirt. This figure. Let's check this out, man. I don't know about this. Huh? This, this is it. We are on the disco after dark, so I guess That's this is gonna be okay. Because look at the box on this thing. John Robot. Woo! Oh. Ooh, that's, a, that's, that's hot. Oh, that's precious. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I know Bob oh. likes that. <laughs> I do oh, think this is a better format for your show, JB. You What's spread that? the oh, shot. Open it up. Yeah, it's everybody. Everybody gets it. So whenever there's a super chat, somebody's got a somebody on the up, panel, right? Somebody's got to man up and do the shot. I vote John. He's got to do that guy. Okay. I've done my shot, bitch. No, you there was it. nothing but air in that glass. Oh, here we freaking go, <laughs> the air in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so on that ball, how do you blow it up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Is that Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin took a shot and nobody noticed. <laughs> he took a rip. Bubs has got the stream looking twice as good now. Oh, look at you. There it is. Twice as good. That's fucking oh, grand. That's bad ass. So bad. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh wow. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I would end up buying. It's not polite I'm to pervy. hold her head down like that. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, I... <laughs> oh my god! I bet you're great at Chris. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm almost there. Oh my goodness! So yeah, I don't know where yeah. that one is, but I can't wait for a wife to see that. I know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Put her right there. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got the figure and the t-shirt were for me. Thank you very much. That is kind of cool. You All can right, paint well, it green and send it to Z Collects. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The scarf. Ooh, this is beautiful. Let's check this out. 72 seconds, damn. This is for my wife. For her? For her. For her? Oh, sharks? What Ooh. is that? We can't Ooh, see. That's, that's lit. Turn around. Oh, what's with the T's? The T's. Is it this way? Yeah. There you go. Oh, they're swans. I'm cranes. glad I did not say ostriches. They're cranes. They're cranes. 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 Yeah. cranes. No, you cranes. And then, yeah, there's no, no you way. Cranes. My wife, but there's no way no, the kids are going to Who are you calling a crane? I'm not from Russia. I'm from the Ukraine. The kids are all over this. They're definitely going to take this from her. Bub, Bub is going to take this show to a new low. I'm just telling you right now. Be ready. <laughs> yeah, he is. Going to. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Your best oh, oh, nice. JB, I want to see your best geisha impression. Ooh. Oh, what? Yeah. That's oh, my. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't, think, I don't think he's Geisha. I think he's Baisha. Uh, <laughs> All right. That's yeah. very nice. He's not Benny Arisha. You could pull blades on that, and then it could be like Oh, a my goodness. These are for my Jeez. daughters. Mortal Kombat. These are for my daughters. Oh, my. We got one more thing here. I don't know who this one's for. There's no note. It's a good thing he didn't open for me. He probably would have put an eye out with that fan. <laughs> oh, right on. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Very cool. Oh, hey, you know what? That's what happens when you wake up uh, late at night and you don't see, you know, those corners. You crack a toe. You crack a toe. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I know these are for the girls, but I do want to open them up. I'm going to take a look at what we got here. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's what I do on Christmas. Santa brings all the gifts for everybody. I just ah. crack that shit open. I'm like, look, I did, I did your work for you, everybody. You're welcome. Oh, this is a, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Is it a kitten? Is it a baby kitten? No, they're uh, little purses, oh. the Hello Kitty purses. Oh, that's cute. That's cool. oh. And then so uh, we've got these little cards. It's a little book set. So oh, now you got something to replace wallet with. That set. Oh, nice. Oh. That is cool. My, I tell you, my I'm sure your daughters are the same way. My daughters would freak. That's perfect. Yeah, they have it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. What else we got? Ooh, oh, hair ties. I never have enough hair ties, guys. Shout out to Kate. This is from K Titus, by the way. You've seen him in the chat everywhere. Like, did he go to bed? He was here earlier. He, he was here. Like, I don't know. Like two o'clock in the afternoon over there. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably doing. Uh, all well, these are kind of cool. Yeah, the kids are gonna dig all this. All kinds of little erasers. In about five minutes, I haven't seen him, so I don't know. Is that floss and hair? Oh, is that dental floss? What are that? Trees. So these are cool. These are for the girls. Oh man, I'm here for them. Thank you very much, Kay Titus. They're gonna love this when they get their hands on these. There's some pens. Hello Kitty pens. We gotta get the pens in there. Ooh. Very oh. nice. They're gonna dig this. You know. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. He's there in the chat. Thank you, Kay Titus. This Thank is you, awesome. Yes. Man, this is very true. cool. Very cool. Shout out to you, my friend. I appreciate that. Woo, man. All right. Most definitely, Kay Titus. Man, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, Kay Titus, fan he made his debut yesterday <clears throat> on Sun Comic Book Hunter's page. That was the first time he was on anybody. Uh, oh, cool. They invited me on, and you would not believe k titus god dude i one yes it's it's correct you are in everyone's chat but when you get to know this fine gentleman and you get to know this person's heart and you get to see what this person does for so many people out there in the world and how he travels and what he does for people the selflessness of this individual does not end by the way i am cool. telling you what but he said you may be Oh my God! The the amount of effort and expense, holy shit! Oh, so I know. God, K Titus, dude, Except from the bottom of my heart, dude, thanks, man. You're you're the damn. Thank you. You're awesome. I think everyone knows what I'm about to say. If you're watching us right now, there is a high probability that you, my friend, have comics on the mind. Another one of my absolute favorite people out there. I love Absolutely. her. Thank I know. After I seen yeah. that dog, I got something else on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're very. All right, folks. So what else we got? Uh, we we did a little bit, a little quick weekend review. I did open. I, I'm thinking I want to save the 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 Magoo box for when Magoo's in the chat. So we'll, we'll, we can save that one. I can open up one of bajillion boxes if we want to continue opening up stuff, or we could uh, you know see what the next topic of conversation is, like. Um, Oh, by the way, didn't Bubs just reach a thousand subscribers? Bubs Yo, has a channel. Has a channel. Oh. Hello. When did Bubs get a channel? Oh, I need to subscribe. Bubs Someone drop. Yo, channel. Z, drop the link. <laughs> Dude, drop the Yo, link. Z, drop the link. Z. <laughs> <laughs> so how, uh, how? How? What was your watch hours like? Did you check? Or did you get Ooh, the five? Five? what watch hours? The four thousand watch hours. What about him? Do, do you have the 4,000 watch hours to get monetized? You got monetized, right? Man, I had like 4,000 watch hours when I was at 500 subs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then you had no yeah, I had a lot of, I've I, had, I've I, always I, had a lot of watch hours. We're not talking about your Pornhub search time, dude. We're, we're talking about how many hours. Search time. And I put two numbers in, you hit play. I don't know. <laughs> Justin, are you guys going to be fine when you break a thousand? Because I'll be honest, with you, I broke a thousand. I was nowhere near watch time. Yeah, I, I think we passed the 4,000 like a month ago. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty incredible to actually break it and have the watch time that quickly, Dustin. You guys have been killing yeah. it. Yeah, we appreciate it. I think it, I'm going to get 2,000 subscribers before I hit that watch time. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the link for Bub, for K Titus. Uh, so there's a few links in there. People can sub people up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think the channel TK says take a shot. <laughs> Not me this time. 
I think Z collect is passed out somewhere. Yeah, so I don't think Z can this, drop any links. Bub take oh, a shot. Oh, take a shot. Bub, it's time to man up. Let's see. I don't have anything good. You don't have anything good. If it's good, nobody gives a shit if it's good. All right. Here's a drink. <laughs> what? There's this thing there. This freaking alka seltzer. It's orange juice for all we know. D Dustin, where's the whiskey, Dustin? Where is the whiskey? I did legitimate <laughs> tequila shots here, motherfucker. I, I did that tequila well, last yeah, week. I'm gonna I'll let get that. Some. I'm gonna let that. And hey, well, that's the problem. You're not. You don't need to do twenty like JB. You just do like two or three. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. I want you to open it up without you, Magoo. Look, the invite, dude. He had to give you another two dollars to get you to open the box that you claimed you were going to open an hour ago. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, look, if I give you money, will you open it? Damn, oh, man! man. <laughs> for, four, for three months, just open the box. He already. said, "He said, open the box for the love of God." Open the box. I'm gonna jump out of here if somebody wants to jump in. I'm gonna go crash. Thank you so Josh, much. You have to wait to see what's in the box. What are you doing? Yeah. Heels. Perry, I have two, I have I have a whole family and a wife. I know what's in the box, bitch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For the love of God, open the damn box. <laughs> hey, God, that was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, Perry just spit out his drink all over his table. I almost squirted. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't be your first time. <laughs> Ooh, another one coming in. There it is. A little bit of fire, 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 fire. Oh yeah! Oh, Joe Ryan with a super chat. Wow! Right? Great community. Yeah. Very, very so cool. Much. I appreciate you, Joe. Yeah. Can't wait uh, for you to come back with some content. Oh, later, John. Either way, I like having you in the chat. It's good to see you. Hey, John left, but he's back. All right, guys. You oh guys shit! Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. This is a massive, huge box from Magoo. It's farther. Wow. Let's see what we got. It must have been here. really tough to push that around the floor for the last month to get around. Uh, <laughs> he, was like, he wasn't just stubbing his toe on it. He was banging his knee. <laughs> <laughs> well, it definitely will help the, uh, the the height of the pile. So let's. Oh yeah, it's all about the optics. Oh my goodness, this thing's filled with pops. Harry has a massive huge No, for real? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Serious? I mean, I didn't buy any of these. He just sent all these to me. Ooh, let's see what it is. All right, first off, I see. You know what I, I see? He paid you to open them. I see one. Oh, <laughs> I see a coffee mug in my future. Mm. He has Madman Magoo. Oh, cool. Magoo. Madman Magoo. Get on the couch. Hashtag get on the couch. Well, there you go. Sounds like something. Sounds like something you would say there, Bubs. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. All right, ready? <laughs> Man, I, you know what? This is this is all pops. I might as well just go right over here and uh, you gotta put that pop link up. Put it up. Put the starburst. Pop starburst. Yeah. That's not it. it. That's the knockoff one. There yeah. it is. Yes. Now, <laughs> Bubs, do you know what this is supposed to look like? Yes, it's supposed to look like a pop box. No, it's supposed to look like a Star Wars card from back in the day. The cards, the card. Remember the trading cards? Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, it's an epic fail. Hard. Yeah, that's a hard fail, bro brother. What are you talking oh. about? That's a hard fail. Perfect. That's a hard fail. In the fucking card. It looks dead. Oh wait. Oh, because you have the disco on both. You got the Discovery oh, Bay comics, no, no. Well, both know, top corners. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I remember that. the starburst. How do you yeah. see it? Kind of. I see it now. Yeah. I see it. Everything's clear. And I'm gonna need another shot to sell this. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks like we got just an amazing collection of Spider-Man pops here, and we're gonna start with Prowler number four oh seven. Pretty accurate. On these because. There's a rule with Magoo. If he sends you something, you got to keep it for life. This is it. So I can't be. Is that how it goes? Yeah, Magoo said that you know, 
Make sure you make sure you note that I got that, and you keep that for the rest of your life. So this is in the in the collection. Magoo, Prowler, shape. Prowler. number four hundred seven, Spider Man. Awesome, nice. very cool. All right, next one. Up. I think Sam's Tangled Web. Sam from Sam's Tangled Web used to go by Prowler, and then they um, but they dropped the charges. <laughs> <laughs> This is Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man in the Stealth Suit. By the way, he told me don't get any Spider-Mans because I had zero Spider-Mans in my entire collection. I have one now. I got a superior Spider-Man from somebody, but I didn't have any in the collection. Magoo said don't get any. And here's Spider-Man in the Stealth Suit. In here. Awesome. Here you go. All right, next Guard up, this. we I, got it's a rabbit hole. <laughs> Far From Home Spider-Man in the Borrowed Jersey. In the Borrowed Jersey. Nice. Hmm. I mean, that, that is, that's pretty, that's different. That's definitely yeah. different. And it's a Marvel Collector Core. Look at that one. It's basically right. like a Tom Holland, like, doll, isn't it? Like, that's a, like a straight Tom Holland. Hydro Man. That's cool. I like that one. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. It's, it's got that kind of paint on it. God, that goes up. There you go. Next one up. Man, this thing is packed. Oh. Hey, hey, Dylan, me and TK sent you invites on, on oh, this one. Oh, dude. Spider-Man Homecoming in Man. the outfit. <laughs> oh, that's when he was wearing it inside of when he was trapped on the ground. Yes. He was, wait, he was waiting to get out. Yeah. I'll trust you, hmm. Perry. I know you watched it for the first time last week. <laughs> <laughs> Your memory is fresher than mine on that. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Oh, he, was, he was sitting in there talking right. to the suit the whole time. Yeah, that's MJ. right. Hashtag not my MJ, but it's cool pop anyway. Yeah, I, I, I have to say that too. Hashtag not my <laughs> MJ. Still a cool right. pop. Oh my God, Magoo. This is ridiculous. He said you bubble wrap too? No, oh, this is like every freaking Spider-Man known to man. I mean, this is all of them. You should check right. the back of the box. He probably sent you the whole line. That's cool. I like that one. That's Spider-Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing our game, Perry. <laughs> <You're Rose too? laughs> yeah, you did not win the, the lifetime supply of rights or Oh, this is cool. No, oh, come on, man. Did he freeze up? Yeah. It did oh, that man. this morning. What's up, Southern Cop? Unbelievable. Cop? Yeah, OBS has been sketchy lately. Hey, what do you think of my high-tech new stuff, huh? Look, wait, wait, wait. wait. I worked all day on this. Look. <laughs> it, it's backwards, Kevin. We're reading it backwards. <laughs> Are you going to hang outside Starbucks? <laughs> look, look, all you have to do is reverse it. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. All day I worked no, on it's, this. It's reading backwards, Kevin. It's when we read it on our screen, the letters are backwards. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, he says. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, we lost JB. I'm pretending everybody's in an ambulance. I'm pretending everyone is like reading it from the review car, uh, car and I'm in an ambulance. That's how it's yeah. made. This, so yeah. I think they write Range like, Rover backwards too. If you want to use that one next time, I ooh. think they. I think when you're looking, when you're driving, you look behind you. Range Rover's spelled backwards, so you can read Range Rover. Do they really do that? I've never noticed. I I think so. I think I feel like I've seen that, or maybe I've just always looking. Know. I'm so broke. I'm not even allowed to drive next to those cars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, I can't believe you haven't burned that jersey since the last time we we met there, Dustin. I, hey, things terrible. I think it looks cool. We were on Happy Hogan. Are oh, you that's sure? Happy. That's cool. He doesn't know. Kevin, you got that. some flowers oh, over there. Stuff. Is Happy smiling? Hogan. I don't even know where to put these. There's so many pops. I'm running out of space. <laughs> All right. More Spider-Man. Okay, this one. Wow, man. I think I got every Spider-Man there is now. I, I This is ridiculous. Spider-Man 397, and he's in, like, the, the sweater, the, the Christmas sweater. Oh, yeah. Hmm. How was that? Experience. 
Oh, it was the Christmas line. Was that the GameStop exclusive run that they did? Christmas variant? Oh, it looks like there's only three in that line. Yeah, I think that's the GameStop run. Wow. Okay, let's get to the next one. Hey, All these came from Japan, man. K oh, Titus. No, they what did a, not. What a guy. This is Magoo. What this a is guy. Magoo Fist Farter. Look at this one. He's hanging off the wall. That's that awesome. <laughs> oh, see, that's one I would want. Upgraded suit. I like that. Magoo, you're killing me. This is incredible. All right. Homemade suit. Nice. Yeah. Kind of looks like Perry. <laughs> kind of, yeah, with his uh, denim jacket a little bit, right? Yeah, his glasses on, yeah. Looks just like him. All right. <laughs> Spider dildo. <laughs> This was the I don't know what a, a hot topic exclusive. Ooh. It's number three. Sweet, that's cool. I wonder if that's one of the first ones. Look at the characters in that line. Yeah, it is. Well, it's Captain at least America. one of the third ones. Yeah, because I've got that Captain America. So yeah, that was the first like Marvel the line. Man. Wow, that's really cool. And two more, two more. <laughs> spider punk awesome oh, yeah that's one of my like favorite one. suits that's awesome dude that's awesome spider punk and for the final pop of course it's the hottest thing going right here he is hey, um, hey, hey. Miles Morales look at exclusive. that exclusive hashtag that's my spider man awesome Cool. Magoo fits farter with the most amazing. I'm gonna have to do a special video for this one. I'm gonna do. Dude, a whole I thought video this was this. it. It's in the title card just, and everything. What the hell? No, I want to do a, where I do it to music and I'll put them on the spinner. I'll put I hear them on the music and do it. And when right not now. on the screen, Bob's is what he's getting at. Oh. You gotta go like this when he when he gets a genuine reactions. Hands on oh. Like, oh, look at this one. I think I'm going to hold the pump and do that. Wow. Same time. Magoo fits farter. Thank you so much. Hey. This is an amazing collection. I will take Glad one big do. picture of these two. I want to get one huge picture and put them up on Instagram. This is like amazing collection of Spider Man pops. Wow. That's cool. Just That's awesome. wow. Magoo fits farter. Awesome. I got Woo. an AOK -okay to open tomorrow night from one of our subscribers right Tower Glass, and it's all Funkos. I can't wait because I know there's at least two chases in here that he sent me, so I'm pumped about that. Nice. Are we doing promos now? Are you Are you? Are we doing promos? Are you, are you <laughs> leaving? Oh, no, no, no. I was just, I was Wait, just is it time for I got an AOK of Funkos too. So all right, Dustin, what fun. do you have coming up on your channel before you go? <laughs> what do you got coming up? <laughs> <laughs> it was a genuine promotion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing a giveaway that has Funko Pops in it, maybe. That was not my intention. I'm not that guy at all. And he's got a whole nether box wow. of Spider-Man Pops, too. Wow. wow. There's a lot of Spider-Man. Thank you so much, Magoo. I really appreciate you. I've got I got a couple more things set aside, too, for Magoo, you know. I've been, I've been pulling. Now, once you know some of what he's chasing, every time it comes up in my stuff, because my stuff's, you know, cheap stuff, dollar, two dollars. Every time I see a flash book, I just pull it from Magoo now. I mean, that's, he's a flash guy, so we'll just pull those. You have a what? No. you got to be kidding me. Bam. What? For me, a whole other box for me? Oh, man. I need, I need shit, more really? shelving. <laughs> I need more yeah, shelving. but here, here's I, the catch, JB. Only the first box was free. Oh, so that's be, it. You be turning <laughs> some tricks for box number two. There you go. <laughs> I'd say we. I need to figure out more two dragons. Place two dragons. I'm I'm, I, I'm already running out of space for my pops, man. I'm gonna have yeah, to. Yeah, they grow fat. I let they mine pops breathe. Take so. it they do. You take them out of the box. You I, let them I, breathe. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. I take out of the box, and then like my office Funkos, I keep up here in the box. I haven't found a way to display them, but like I got my turtles up here, and I got some of my superhero ones over here. On a, I started like a little toy shelf kind of thing, so. Hey, who dat comics and movies? Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Who dat? What's up, bro? 
Who that? Chad Fisher's also so here. How do you Chad. guys decide which ones you want to display by taking them out and which ones you want to keep in the box? How do you guys? How do you? How do you come I, to that I, conclusion? I, I, I usually like when I was collecting them, I would keep them all sideways because they would save room like that. Yeah, I would, I would yeah I've seen that. They got a really cool picture on the sideways, but I don't just want to be showing the picture. I want to be showing the pop. Yeah. Uh, my deal was if it was damaged, if I got one and the box was just yeah. crushed, well then I just take it out. You know, if the box is already crushed to hell anyway. Uh, if to me, if the box is special, like those 80th anniversary pops that have the foil the and everything appearance. on the boxes, yeah, you know, I'll keep those in a hard case and then display them. But all the ones that are just kind of normal, I usually take those out. Or sometimes you take one out and it doesn't look as good as the box does. Like after I get it out of the box, I'm like, damn, the box art was better than this pop, so I'll put it back in the box. And I was going to ask that too: is it sometimes display better in the box or out of the box? Yeah, it depends on how they got that. painted, I think. Because sometimes you'll get them and you look at two Funkos and one's painted so much better than the other one. Yeah. And that that sometimes makes a difference for me too. Yeah, I yeah. got a bad James Bond pop last week and I took it out of the box and I was like, I can't even recognize it. It's the paint so bad. I put it back in the box. The box looks great, so I just leave it like that. How many pops do you have in your collection, Bubs? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, I got to go see about a girl. 26. A good one. I got 26. <laughs> 27. They're, they're all around. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. 27. There are only four in the box. Four in the box. What are you talking loose. about? Make sure you play that bumper a couple times for her. <laughs> Ooh, only have 11 more subs to go. Hey, I might hit no. it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Are you serious? Wow. I could be taking wow. shots tonight? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, TK, uh, what? Did you see what TK said? He has to go see about yeah, he's got some good he's got, he's got wow. Oh, no. I figured he was trying to feed her down in the basement. Nah, <laughs> Came to the radiator. <laughs> Uh oh, Wait, I know her name. Use the lotion in the bucket. girl. What's her name? Yeah. Chloroform girl. Chloroform <laughs> girl. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> God oh, dang, yeah. that's pricey. <laughs> He's, been soaking. He's been soaking her COVID mask in chloroform. Here, put this on. It's safer that way. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> JB, do you have any like like specific stores that that their main thing is just like Funkos around you? No, I, I found one out by me today, and it was crazy when I walked in there. I mean, like like they have cases full oh, of just signed Chase Funkos, and pretty much like any any Funko you, I, I asked about, like he had them. He was pulling them out of the back. Funkos that I've been looking for, like hundred and ten to five hundred dollar Funko Pops. I'm like, I didn't, want, I didn't want to buy it. I was just curious if you had it. I, I see all this other stuff you got. Like, I ain't got that kind of money, dude. Give me this ten dollar one right here. But it, it, it was wild seeing that many of them in there. Some of the stuff they had. We have uh, one comic book store in Livermore, and my wife and I, we, you know, we're members of a winery out there, and we have to go out there every quarter to pick up your order. So every quarter we go out there to pick up our order. They do a little tasting for you, which is kind of cool, which gives you a little little buzz, right? And then <clears throat> we go into town for, you know, dinner, basically. And it's comic book store, which I stop in every single time. So basically four times a year, I'm going to stop in there. And I don't know how this guy's still in fucking business. It, it's just <laughs> serious. It's just one guy in there. Every time I go in there, he never has any help. The place is jam fucking packed with people all the time. And there's shit everywhere. I mean, his, his Funko Pop are still in the cases and people are just digging. Like, they're digging them out of the cases. He hasn't even checked them in yet. You know? Wow. And he's like, oh, they're in there. And it, it's just <laughs> nuts. So, yeah. That's the only place around here that really even sells Funko Pop. Besides, like, a GameStop or something. Yeah. Uh, in Walmart. You know, that type of thing. So, you never know what you're going to find in there. Because shit's half of it's boxed up. Half of it's up on the wall. None of it's priced. You're know, like, whatever, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got to talk about kind of random book that's hot. Today. Don't you dare walk in there and ask for a book that's hot. Because <laughs> he's like he's like offended that you asked for the hot book off the Comic Tom list. He's like, oh, yeah. no, you only want that because it's selling for 40 bucks. 
yeah, that's why I want it, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so <laughs> that's, why, that's why I asked you. You have that, it? Yes or no? Hey, bro, you got that new yarn man number one? What's up? <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fucking ticket right there it's gonna go up i tell you i've never paid 100 bucks for a funko either uh as you guys can see i've given away the more valuable funko to keep the less valuable funko <laughs> this guy is unbelievable bub's having too much fun <laughs> hey, Kevin, what you all night. Kevin, you got something special for tomorrow, don't you? It's Saturday. You don't you normally do an artist alley? Are you doing something? What do you got? Uh, well, we we will do a normal artist alley. We we do, but I will be joining um, Rod and Dylan on an interview for Sea of Sorrows, and we have the whole complete cast that for that book for that. So that's going to be freaking awesome. So that's actually Rod's channel. But yeah, I actually. We end up booking so many people that um, I got to ask Christy how we're going to do this because I have five people I got to actually do in about two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. I always do. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, congratulations. Our boy going to be on that tomorrow. What, what was that? Our, our, our boy Justin's going to be on that, that, that live stream with him tomorrow. Exactly. I like the what is And I don't know if you – Justin was working on like – everything if you're looking out there for anything how should i say any reputable story with a great uh artistry and more times than not super solid writing See you, um justin tends to be right there nice. you know and i every time i'm looking justin tends to be in the right place doing the right writing i mean doing the right lettering for the right writers and for the right artists and then I don't know how he's navigating his waters like that, but damn, it's impressive. Yep. yep. A little spit shine. <laughs> oh, man. K Titus <laughs> said, have a good one. He's going to do, do some volunteer work at the old folks' home. K Titus, thank you so much for that package. I really appreciate you, my friend. Have a good day. Damn. Yeah, you guys, I highly recommend go do just a little research on K Titus, man. If you want, go check out. Some comic book hunter the other night when K Titus was on, the things that K Titus does, he says on that, that channel, and oh my god, the things he does for kids and shit, so killer. This is crazy. I can't believe these Funko Pops. Yeah, I picked up. Insane. What, what is, is that, Kevin? Uh, is, is that, that part of the Caribbean '69? <laughs> exactly. You're gonna watch that hook. It's not what you think it is. Oh, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much joe i appreciate it. we're gonna we're only gonna go another 15 minutes or so guys we're gonna we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep the, a tight ship tonight oh thank god <laughs> tight, tight, tight ship tonight oh i was i i, I kind of want to make a pizza from scratch pizza from scratch yeah <laughs> Nuts. i got some bagels some marinara i can help sauce. you with that you know, Jeez. you know what's you know what's really dangerous out here in California now because you know we've got all this Grubhub and stuff that that ships it basically, I mean not ships that delivers at any time at night. <laughs> yeah, they do. It ships. It ships. <laughs> DHL's bringing it. DHL, yeah. <laughs> all but, night it, long. You can get literally get drunk food in the so you you're watching TV and you get that Jack in a Box late night commercial and sure as shit you can get that shit right now on Grubhub. They're they're delivering mini tacos. You know, and I, what was my wife called tiny tiny? And then you know, when you're when you're getting tiny tacos at two in the morning, <laughs> you've been drinking. So and when you hear the, is it time for tiny tacos? Ooh, that means we've been drinking. It's time to get a delivery of some tiny tacos. <laughs> <laughs> right? Comics on the minds is a stoner's dream. <laughs> you get jack <laughs> late night jack in the box delivered to your house. Exactly. Um, and they don't even touch. It's it's yeah. it's what do you call it? Touchless. They just they, drop it off at the door. They put yeah. it at the front door, ring away. the doorbell, and walk off. I had to I had to uninstall Uber Eats off my phone. It was like <laughs> an every night thing, and I'm like, this is just too. Much. And it's expensive. <laughs> like I'm ordering yeah, it's McDonald's, and it's like forty bucks. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't keep doing this. No, come on. Next time you order it in, just be sitting right outside, the, right. Right, right in front of the door in a scary costume. As soon as they ring the doorbell, just open the door and just chase them, scare the hell out of them, chase them back to the car. Nice. 
<laughs> you know you what's funny about that now? is what you can't keep doing is ordering the drunk ordering the drunk food. It's not the problem getting drunk at night. It's just ordering the food. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it there is. It is. <laughs> Too much fun. All right, fellas. Um, is there anything else we want to we want to chat about before we go ahead and wrap this one up? I mean, you guys got anything you want to promote? I know Perry is eleven subs away from me taking shots, so we want to kind of wrap this up before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, um, Bubs! Monday. Right. I know you got something Monday. You do anything this weekend? Uh, yeah, I'll probably get into a couple things. You gonna oh, you been on my channel? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just started a channel. Actually, I actually Is I started a channel and I ended a channel. I started uh, Bub's Games, like for gaming. I got one coming soon too. Really? All right, Perry. How many channels do you have? How many active channels yeah, do you four. active channels do you have? Me? Yes. My main channel, my second channel. I I do have a Perry's Gaming, but that I'm waiting to like get the right content, and then I got the Twitch going. Well, you got you got the Lurker channel too, isn't that a channel? I, I, is that so when I lost my no, it was, I had a, like a comic book lurking channel, and yeah. when I, my hard drive broke, I had to like reinstall Google on a new hard drive, and I don't remember the password or the email or anything, so that's gone to the abyss. <laughs> Lurker's <laughs> channel is just gone in the abyss because I don't know the password or the email. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's All right, I did drop the link to my second channel if anyone wants to. Sub, I'm about to hit that 500 mark. 500 mark, unbelievable. He's gonna be passing oh, me by next fuck. week. Yeah, second chance. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably I'm probably gonna not go live with it. Just roll gaming stuff on my current channel, like Perry bores everybody with. And I'm trying to do that. It's like it's the hardest way to get four views you've ever tried. <laughs> It's the only thing, guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed because I actually had one person comment on it. Um, I don't put any of our channels gaming in the live stream playlist. Yeah, like when Perry's gaming, I don't put that in the yeah. playlist because it's yeah. not. I don't, I unlist really it need, every time I'm done. I don't. You know, so yeah, I, ga the gaming is the one the one niche I just haven't been able to get into and haven't. It's a very toxic the, the, games. the gaming community is very toxic. I had a channel like four years ago. My first video got five thousand views and like two hundred comments of people calling me a freaking retard, an idiot, stupid. I'm like, you know what? I'm not I don't want to be here no more. Oh my <laughs> wow. god. Wow. Yeah, no, I don't want to be in that community. Yeah, that was rough. No. <laughs> no. no. I'm not a gamer. I download the games from the Facebook ads. <laughs> I do too, actually. That stupid decision. Decision. Oh, do I go left or right? Do I pull this pin? Do I pull that pin? Which pin do I pull? Ah, fuck, I burned myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Everybody in the chat, this has been a, another edition of Disco After Dark. I run a big, huge shout-out to Kate Titus in Japan for sending me that package from yeah. Japan. Huge shout-out to Magoo Fitz Farter for this amazing Funko Pop collection, which I basically have all these Spider-Mans I've never had before. I can't wait to take a picture and get them up on Instagram. As far as this weekend's concerned, I'm not actually sure it, what I got going on tomorrow. Um, your Perry's got a VHS. What are you gonna do with that fucking thing, man? What are you gonna do with it? You even have a VHS machine to play that in? No, <laughs> no, you don't. It's That's movie. what movies used to come in like. I bought this like two years ago when I got into like Doctor Who heavy. And then Doctor I'm like, Who, I'm huh? watch what? this. I want to watch this I one day. Doctor Who heavy. Oh heavy my bad. Friend? You never <laughs> seen Doctor Who? More like a porn. You've never Brief. seen Doctor Who? You had oh, never seen the Avengers a week ago. Don't try it. Who has been around for over, for over 50 years. years. Retaliate, retaliate. This is a layup, man. This is a layup. Get him, Dustin. Get him. I don't even want to hear it. You ain't never seen shit, Perry. What are whoa, you talking whoa. about? Doctor Who has been behind me before, before everything. <laughs> and it's still going strong. On PBS, okay. baby. Bye. <laughs> Doctor Who is awesome. You guys are, just, you guys are oh, missing man. out. 
You're missing out. Oh, my goodness. Well, if I imagine if time does a lot tomorrow and there's not everybody and their mother selling comic books, I may try to shoot up a quick pop up <laughs> shop because I had a I, I literally had somebody in the community basically sponsor the whole fucking show. So I want to I want to go ahead and give away some books on his behalf and uh, give away some free shipping on his behalf. And we got another go, thing we're going to do on his behalf. But that's from Jack B. If you guys aren't familiar, he then dropped a, uh, a pile of money on the channel. So we want to go, go ahead and give those away. I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. I just want to coordinate that. If it doesn't happen, then we're going to wait till next Wednesday and do it next Wednesday standard show. But I had my uh, a regular standard week. I did the, the morning show five days, all five days this week. Didn't cancel any time. I did the pop-up on Wednesday, like I said I was. And we did the did this one. I actually had to take a nap before I could do this <laughs> show. I did. I did have to take a nap because I'm fucking old. Uh, and and I made it through the whole show. I get to walk out of here without tell, telling my wife I didn't have to take any shots. So hey, it was a Perfect. successful successful show for me. I appreciate everybody once again. For me to play my outro, gentlemen, I do have to pop each and every one of you into the back. So I will do that. But we will. Yeah, I can't because then I'll only be play my out. I'll be on the corner up there, and you won't get. To I'm see not. The I'm not even letting you pop me out. Look, Bugs you can pop gone. John out. Pop John, out. Hey, 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 anyway, pop John, John out. Look at his ass. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bubs. I appreciate you. You are out. Perry, you the man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Dustin, thanks for popping on the channel, man. I appreciate you. Kevin, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Probably I'll be, be in your chats. I appreciate you. Everybody in the chat who joined me tonight, I really do appreciate you taking the time. And as always, don't forget... We had a good time. Peace, everybody. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it.